Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I can't really talk, which is why I sound a bit weird when I'm trying to speak. It's really difficult and really painful to talk. So I apologise for sounding like a weirdo when I speak. Wow, it really hurts to speak. <laughs> um, so, this video is just letting you know that from now on there are going to be braces vlogs. So this is brace vlog number one, quad helix. Um, I will insert a video here of what it looks like. And basically what it does is pushes the two teeth out, pushes both sides of the teeth out at the top, pushes them out to make way, to make, so there's more room so you can fit a full brace on, fixed brace on afterwards. Which is what I'm going to do. Fixing my teeth is something that I wanted to do for a really long time and now I can finally afford it. It is costing me two and a half grand because I am over 18 and because it's going to be a clear fixed brace. You have to pay more for it to be clear. I will show you why I'm in pain um, in a minute. I'll put that some point in the video, but I've got ulcers all over my tongue, all over the inside of my cheeks. It is very, very painful. Like I'm not gonna lie, I want to be as honest in these as I can be because I know some people will watch these thinking that they want braces, but they don't really know if they should go for it or not. And I want to give you the truth, like so you know what to expect because I didn't know what to expect. And so I want to kind of let you all know if you're going to get them, this is what's going to happen and this is what you can do to get rid of the pain or etc. So I got this put in three days ago and the first day was fine. The second day was fine until like halfway through the day when it really started rubbing on my tongue because it's metal. And if you think now when you talk, when you swallow, when you eat, your tongue touches the roof of your mouth. And now the roof of my mouth is made of metal bars, so it's just rubbing on my tongue. And I have ulcers and all kinds of things all over my tongue. Last Yesterday was the worst day that I had that all day, it was really painful. I might have had it in for four days, I think. I might have had it in for four days. But yes, all of yesterday was really painful and I was working. What I would say as well, if you're going to get this put in, don't. if you have a job, don't work for the four days that follow having it in, at least. Or work, you can work on the day it gets put in, but for the three days after that I wouldn't even recommend doing it. I was supposed to work today, I had to phone in and say that I couldn't come in. Because it is so painful, like, especially in a job where you have to talk. I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing, which is talking. I would recommend trying to not talk as much as you can. Eat soup. That's another thing. For the past four days, I've eaten soup and yoghurt. And I am really physically drained. On the for second day, I probably ate about 200 calories for the whole day. And then the day after that, I felt really, really weak. And I had to kind of force myself to eat. Uh, it's so difficult to speak. Um, you have to force yourself to eat. It hurts, but you have to force yourself to eat. Otherwise, you will go down in a spiral of, like, ending up being really, really you'll be in pain and you'll be drained and you won't have any energy to do anything so this has got to be in for two months what I've read online and what my dentist told me is that after a week it will you will get used to it hopefully by day seven I'll be used to it and my tongue will have scabbed over healed and get used to it being there so it won't be as painful so you don't talk like this for the whole two months thank god and it doesn't hurt this bad and it hurts so much I can't even tell you how much it hurts like I actually want, if I think about it, I actually want to cry, like if, it, if I sit and think about how much it hurts and how little food I'm eating and everything is taken into account, I could actually just sit here and cry, it hurts so bad. Mm. It even hurts to swallow. Curl your tongue over on itself to swallow, so that the underside of your tongue is on the metal bit, that will give the top bit of your mouth a bit of a break for a while. Like I said, eat ice cream, eat yoghurt, eat soup, things that are of a temperature that aren't normal and that will kind of, well, heat so the soup will take down swelling and things that are cold will numb it a little bit so that should help you a little bit. Also what you have to bear in mind is that this is for two months and then you get your brace on and then at the end you'll have perfectly straight teeth so you just have to think in your head is it worth going through the pain and stuff like that. Also food gets stuck in the top of um, if you eat like chips or bread or whatever, um, things get stuck in the top of it. Make sure you get that out and make sure you fully brush it when you brush your teeth, make sure you brush the wire. 
Um, you get wax, but when I tried to put it on, it just fell off, so I can't even invest in that because I've not even figured out how to use that yet. Um, sometimes when you talk, the metal bit will clip, it'll nip your tongue, and it's really painful. Um, you can't really do anything to stop that. Just try and speak slowly and take your time, and don't try and. Sp if you speak fast, ow, just did it then. <sighs> if you speak. If you speak fast, then it happens more. At the end of the video, again, I'll put in what it looks like and the kind of injuries that I've had from it so far, four days in. So hopefully by the end of the week... <coughs> hopefully by the end of the week, it won't be as painful and I'll be able to do videos where I can talk. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to try and do videos where I don't have to speak and I'll just show you things instead. I'm having ibuprofen and paracetamol like all through the day, like up to the maximum doses that you can have. So if you've ever had this and you have any advice, please let me know. But I know that I really want to take teeth, so I know that I need to kind of push through this period of like pain and then hopefully it will be better at the end. So please let me know if you have any advice. I know I sound like an idiot, so don't be commenting that in the comments because you will just get on my tits to be honest, so so yeah, um, leave any comments about it down below if you're thinking about getting it, if you want to ask any questions about having it in or having it fitted, um, then let me know. Obviously it's day four so I don't know that much about it but I will keep you updated throughout the weeks. So I'm going to go now. See you later, bye!